All right, hello everybody. I think I'm gonna do some square one example solves. I've never tried doing this before, so thought it'd be fun, I guess. Um, and I'm sub 19 on square one now, so I think this could be helpful to some people if anybody ever chooses to watch my videos. Um, so yeah, I'll get right into it. I'll put the scrambles in the description too. So this is a nice case. So, got like this half kite on the top, half kite on the bottom, so it's pretty easy to make this into a scalp kite, and it's also easy to make it two gen, because I can just put this guy right there, that guy in the back, and then just slice down like that. We've got a kite, kite ready to be scalp kite, kited, <laughs> and just move this over, we can do that. And, uh, yeah, CO is easy, one, one slash move, and three slash EO, or uh, the three swap EO. Um, yeah, not much to say about corner and edge orientation, so I won't really say much about it, but in this case, there are techniques that I'll talk about for, um, trying to get faster in the corner permutation stage because a lot of times you'll like be tempted to move the layers around before you do a CP alg, but typically like so that you know which case you have, but typically you don't really need to do that if you can just see these three sides. Um, for example, on the top layer right now, I can see all possible colors, green, orange, blue, red, um, which means that I have an opposite swap because neither of these, none, none of these three are solved. And, uh, if I can see all three or all four colors, that means that all these need to be opposite swapped. And on the bottom, I can't see any, um, I can't see any orange corners, no orange corner stickers, which means they're both in the back. So I've got an opposite swap on the bottom layer. So really quick, I can just move that over to the side because the alg I use typically goes like this with the solved adjacent on the side. And then for EP, we've got Z perm adjacent. Don't even really need to look at it because I know I don't see anything here. But um, typically, I don't know that many algs. For instance, like I don't know this case, Z adjacent, so I would just... Uh, put an adjacent swap back there and then put this adjacent swap right there perform the the really quick adjacent adjacent alg and then I've just got parity in the front typically I just spam that adjacent adjacent alg a lot if I don't know the case or opposite opposite because they're both really fast algs and it's helpful um, alright second uh, scramble okay this case is not terrible. Actually, it's pretty good. We can go one slash move into a scallop kite, I think. Um, yeah, so I can pair this uh, two edge pair next to this two edge pair. So move this over like up there and then move this up to that. And I've got a scallop kite on the bottom. That's a nice case. And uh, this is obvious, I don't even need to look at the bottom layer because obviously I've got all yellow corners on top, so I just need to do a slash U2D2 slash, and I'm gonna have the three cycle EO. Um, really obvious, just like right in front of me, I've got an adjacent adjacent for C CP, so I'll just do that alg. Um, in this case, I've got an O perm on the bottom, W on the top. Uh, it's not parity, but it's still kind of shitty. I obviously don't know this case. It's one of the really obscure cases. So, um, I could put, I could swap these adjacently to turn this top layer into an H perm. And then I would also be turning the bottom layer into a U or a Z perm. Either way, 
it's not that hard to fix. I just do two more adjacent adjacents to fix the bottom layer. So yeah, I would put this right there, that adjacent, do an adjacent adjacent swap. Now I've got a U perm on the bottom, H on top. Uh, doesn't matter which one I do first, but usually for U perm on bottom, I just do two adjacent swaps because I think it's just as fast as the bottom layer U perm alg. Uh, so yeah, I would just put that right there, adjacent swap, move it over, do another adjacent swap. Now I just do the H perm. Ah. All right. Yeah, we got another kind of nice cube shape case. Uh, two two slash moves into a scalp kite, so I can just put this two edge pair on the bottom into next to this three edge pair, like that. And then I've got this basically like a kite or a scallop. I mean, with a with a line and two edges on the bottom, so I can just move that two edge line like that to make a kite, and then we got a scalp kite. Um, obvious CO one slash move. This case, I am kind of convinced that the alg, the standard alg for this case sucks, and I can do this one faster if I just do an opposite opposite, and then move straight into the single edge orientation alg. I just don't like that other case. Um, so for CP, I always like if one layer is solved, that case is nice because you can look ahead into the EP uh, case that you're going to have. So I've got an O-perm on top, and you can already see on the left I've got an adjacent uh, two solved, so an adjacent swap. So I'll just do that alg. And I can tell that I've got a U-perm on bottom, so that's shitty because I've got parity. So typically I could move this over like that and do an opposite opposite, and then I would be turning this into a Z perm, and then I'd have an adjacent swap left on the bottom. So I've got the Z perm, and then I can just do an adjacent adjacent to solve the bottom and leave myself with a parity alg on top. So, I don't think that's a very slow way to do that case, especially if, like, I feel like probably most people don't know an O, an O U perm. So, yeah. Okie doke. Um, so we've got, I don't know what that's called, but I could make this into a scalp kite in three moves, three slash moves. So I'd put this on the left, move that over like that, and I can just put this down on the bottom and then move this, put it back, and I'd have the scallop with a line. And since this is already on the left, I can just move that line down and make a kite. Hope that wasn't too fast, but yeah, now scallop kite. Um, yeah, this case I would just move this over like that so I can pair it up with this corner on top. And then I already know I have that opposite opposite uh, paired together on the bottom, and I can just move it up like that. Um, again, we got this case. I'll do it like I typically do. Solved opposite opposite on the top, adjacent swap on the bottom. You can see both of those right away. So I just do that adjacent swap on the bottom. We've got an adjacent on bottom now, and opposite on top which I can quickly turn into a U-perm with the adjacent adjacent alg. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess I probably by now should know how to do an opposite adjacent because that's not a slow alg, I don't think, but I don't learn algs. I hate it. So yeah, I just turn that into a U-perm on top and then do that alg. All right. Um, all right, this is a nice case. <clears throat> and for a change, we can do a scallop scallop in one move instead of scallop kite, which I feel like I do way too much. But yeah, I can put this two edge pair like that and pair this one up next to it while putting this one on the bottom. And then just a quick little negative two on the bottom to do a scallop scallop. And this is an easy CO. 
easy EO. Um, all right, so it's pretty obvious that we have an opposite uh, CP swap on the top because I can see corners of all colors right in front of me. Don't need to move this layer around or anything to notice that. And on the bottom, I've got an adjacent, which if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, it's hard for me to look ahead a lot of the time in CP to EP, but um, I think we're gonna have solved on the bottom. So typically, I'd, or no, we're not, oops. We're gonna have adjacent, I think. So I'll do that, that alg. Yeah, we have adjacent, and then uh, I would just do an adjacent adjacent because we got adjacent uperm. I'd do an adjacent adjacent alg like this to turn this into a parity on top. And then do that alg. So yeah, you can tell that I really like to spam that adjacent adjacent alg because it's super fast. All right, this case kind of sucks. Oh well. Um, I think it's four slash moves to turn this into a scalp kite, which is what I typically go for in a shitty case like this. So I can move this two edge pair next to that one. And then I've got this half kite, which I can put next to this four edge pair on the bottom. And now I've got the kite with a line, which I can put next to this guy on top to make a kite. So yeah, scalp kite. Uh, if you got an opposite, opposite like this, CO case, normally just like misalign them like that, and then you can get two next to each other on both layers just with one move. Yo, really obvious opposite. Oh, this is nice actually. Um, so we've got an opposite solved on the bottom, and. Uh, this is an end perm case, which uh, typically you would have solved on top with the end perm if you uh, if this was a green. So if I had like green green and then red red and then blue blue, and I did the end perm alg, that would be solved. But in this case, we've got like we're gonna end up with a opposite opposite basically. If you can recognize that you're gonna be swapping these two corners and you'll have an opposite opposite. So yeah, that's gonna be nice EP and you can look ahead to that, which is cool. So I'll do the alg. Opposite, opposite. We got an equator flip too, but I'll do that afterwards. Canceling into it like that. All right, that's the last one because I gotta go to school. Bye.